It's time for another rave review. All right, now, is my tie crooked? I feel like my tie's crooked. Does it look okay, Matt? There we go. Okay. Uh, it's time for another rave review. Okay, today's theme for my rave review is meh. Eh. These first few shows I didn't love, but I didn't hate. So they're just kind of meh. Yeah. I just, I hate doing that to you, but if I'm watching a lot of shows to review for you, sometimes you need to just review the meh shows to let, just give you a heads up, okay? So first up, a new design show on Netflix. It features a design couple from Salt Lake City. Um, although this family is adorable, the show's kind of meh. I mean, I like design. I do that. You know I'm renovating. I like the befores and afters. Now, the title's called Dream Home Makeover. Take a look at the trailer. Are you ready for this? Oh, heck yeah. Okay. I'm Shay. Nice. And I'm Sid. Come on, dude. And we're the McGee's. Yeah, In 2013, I designed our first home and then started posting photos to Instagram. Soon after, that turned into starting our business. Right now, our interior design studio is designing dream homes for clients across the country. Hello. Hey. Good morning. Hey. Come in. All right, this is her and all her glory. It's a small space, and that just takes careful space planning. Easy peasy. It was yeah. not easy peasy, and there's still so much work to be done. <gasps> it feels so different in here. I'm blown away. They are going to be blown <laughs> away. I'm just like. Chomping at the bit to get in there. Shiz is going down. So you guys ready? We are We're so ready. ready. Oh my god. Oh, this is legitimate. It's so pretty. Shay! Like, how do you process? How do you yeah. take it all in? How is this the same place? Why am I so my happy? Word. Whether our clients have $2 million or 20000 I want them all to feel that sense of peace when they walk in the door. My mind was just blown, and I just can't believe it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you did so good. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. The, here's my thing with the show. It stars Sid and Shay McGee of Salt Lake City. It has six episodes in this first season. The show is called Dream Home Makeover. When I say the word home, what does that make you think of? It makes you think of the entire house, right? They should have named the show Dream Room Makeover, okay? A home means you're doing the whole house, not one room in their house. And I feel like every episode it was like, okay, this loft or this little uh, movie theater room in the basement of this guy's house or this bedroom. I want to see the home. That's just, that's my beef. You're gonna say Dream Home Makeover? Do the home, not just a room. They're very likable, they're very adorable. They have two. A gorgeous little girl daughters that are just precious but I was kind of like I want more especially with the way design shows are going they're going over the top they're redoing houses they're tearing them down and rebuilding them it's just kind of meh like I said I also have a super great friend who lives in Salt Lake City they're based in Salt Lake City her name is Jennifer Stagg I was on Home and Family on the Hallmark Channel with Jennifer Stagg who is amazing she has her own design shop in uh, Salt Lake City called Stag Design Shop. And I text her, I was watching this, and I text her, I was like, hey, do you know these people on the new show? And she's like, yes, I do. And I was like, girl, you could do way better with your husband, and you guys deserve your own Netflix show. And she was very sweet. We were texting back and forth. And of course, Jen was very complimentary of this couple. But overall, in my opinion, it is great just have on in the background, or just fast forward to the end where you get to see the before and afters. And it does show them moving into their dream home. So it kind of focuses more on them moving into their dream home in Salt Lake. But anyway, I digress. So, dream home makeover Netflix. Meh. All right, let's move on. Another show that I was so looking forward to because I loved volume one. Volume two just debuted Monday on Netflix of Unsolved Mysteries. This is the show that I was scared to death to watch as a child because every time I heard the theme music, I thought I was going to get murdered because my parents would leave me and my brothers and this show and Robert Stack used to scare me so much as a child. So I was like, volume two, yes, let's see these stories. So I turned it on, I start watching. I got through the first episode, I'm like, okay, that's good. I like that. It's only like five episodes. Here's the thing. Some of the stories in, in season two, volume two, I, 
I don't know if it was the editing or the storytelling. I just almost didn't care about the mysteries. Like, it was good. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. These people want to find out the, about the murder of their loved one, which I get. But some of them I was just kind of like, mm, meh. As you can tell, that's the theme today. I was just like, I want something... Like, with Volume 1, it almost had you guessing and making you think who you knew was the murderer. Some of these, you're just like, that happened so long ago, there ain't no evidence, you ain't never gonna find the killer. And I like that hope of at least hoping to find the killer versus going, you ain't find him by now, you ain't gonna find him ever. So that's kind of my, eh, it's just meh. I was like, Unsolved Mysteries, with all the crimes out there, Let's find some stories that we can maybe find some resolution to by having viewers, you know, go to unsolved.com and give a tip so hopefully we can solve them. I want a follow-up show like Robert Stack used to do at the end of the episode. He's like, follow-up on this missing case, and I would get chills. I would be so scared. It was a terrible show. I mean, a good show, but it's just scary. Uh, I digress. All right, the next show, oh my gosh, guys, I wanted to love this next show called Deaf You. I wanted to love it. I wanted to be enthralled with it. Deaf You on Netflix. Meh. Now, if you look at this sign, it has sign language, which let me translate this for you if you don't know how to fingerspell in sign language. It says, live your truth in sign language. Here is the thing. Now, the audience who watches this show, I'm going to tell you, this is about deaf college students in the Washington, D.C. area. If you do not want to see how college students act in college, do not watch this show because it is graphic and it's raw and I felt uncomfortable. Like I was spying on my nephews and nieces in college. And I don't want to know. Too much is too much. I was like, I don't, it's too millennial for me. Cause I was like, I don't want to know what you're doing and what parties you're going to and the people you're getting messed up with because it's too much. So here's what I love about it is they're treating the deaf, the deaf kids, the deaf college kids, like everybody else on a reality show. There's no favoritism. It's also showing how different deaf communities, which like the people who have cochlear implants versus people who lip read versus people who don't, how there are class systems within the deaf community, which I didn't realize, and certain deaf people are put, uh, you know, on higher in the class system versus, it's crazy to learn that. They do have subtitles. And I'm telling you this, as somebody who is fluent in sign language, made me go, I need to practice because I would turn off the subtitles so I could watch them and, and watch them talk. They sign so fast. I was like, I gotta turn the subtitles back on. So deaf you, meh, might be too millennial for you. I'm just warning you. All right, also guess what? CBS, our sister station, just announced the premiere date of Mom starring Alice and Janney. Now this will be the premiere November 5th on CBS and the first season without Anna Ferris. Remember how she backed out on this next season like a week before production was to start? Here's why I'm, I love the show anyway. I'm gonna keep watching because the ensemble is amazing. I wanna see how they get rid of uh, Anna Ferris's character because the last Chuck Lorre show that did that, guess what they did to Charlie Sheen? They killed him off. Killed him off. So, November 5th, CBS, Mom. Then finally, I'm kind of sad about this because we're going to get no resolution. The Hillary Swank show uh, about a mission to Mars called Away, guess what? Away got canceled yesterday after one season. Now, if you have not watched this, plug your ears for a second. Spoiler alert, it's canceled now, so who cares? Here's the thing. We're not going to find out if they ever get off Mars. That's the spoiler alert. Man, I'm so sad. All right. Don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after this. And that was the rave review. Man, Sorry, guys. Had to do it.